I wanted to go through a few myths and I want you to debunk them for us. Um, so firstly, this is the most important thing, I think, because it's the most popular question we got. Does taking the pill in any way affect your fertility? No, and we would say no, you know. And um, there's so many girls, women out there that have been on the pill from when they've been in their early teens because of having issues with their menstrual cycle or pain with their menstrual cycle. We would say no, you know, obviously when you're going to start trying for a baby, you would stop the pill yeah. and within a few months your cycle should regulate. If it doesn't, that's the time to link in with your doctor, your fertility yeah. clinic. And another um, popular misconception that we came across as well is that people think you need to have sex every single day while you're trying. Men that's, think that. Yeah, well, men, men definitely think that. <laughs> yeah. But, I don't you know, know what to do. You, see it, you see it in movies and TV shows where, you know, where a couple are trying to get pregnant and it's like, right, the alarm every day, they're having sex all the time. But that's actually not the case. It's not uh, necessary. You, you don't necessarily have to do that. Uh, um, Although uh, I have to say, uh, in, in, um, the more you have sex, the more likely you are yeah. to get pregnant. And another myth, <laughs> and again, I blame Hollywood for this one, um, is that you have to lie down after sex in order to conceive. Uh, definitely not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not sure where, where, that, where that one came from. I think it's a good excuse. It's, yeah, it's a good excuse to lie down afterwards, <laughs> but it actually medically doesn't make a difference. Does yeah, it? it doesn't make a difference. Does exercise and diet, can that affect fertility? I mean, can you be... Is it more likely you're going to get pregnant if you're eating well and you're exercising regularly? Uh, I'd say um, uh, it's it, moderation is, is is the main thing here. Another yeah. question we got, which is really interesting as well, is there's a lot of anxiety surrounding the COVID-19 vaccine. So when the vaccine first came about, I'm sure Mikey you saw this as well, there was a lot of worry, completely unfounded worry, that the vaccine was going to make women infertile. Have you come across that in the clinic? Were people worried? Absolutely. And with the way government guidelines have been moving and they're constantly changing. We, that was one of the um, barriers we had within the clinic. And obviously our pro first portal line is to, to look after our patients and yeah. to give the correct advice. Yeah.